What is going on, my friends? Vitaly Dubin is here, and welcome to another episode of Today's in Crypto Show. Subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to give you up to date information about what's happening every single day. There is so much going on, it's absolutely crazy. Today on the show, we'll talk about the metaverse and some of the amazing projects in the space that are still very, very early on and we'll talk about some hot altcoins that i'm researching right now that are doing amazing big things that are still small right now and of course we'll talk about the big news on bitcoin we'll look at the uh, bitcoin chart and the price of course we'll discuss all of that so welcome to the show let's see the market cap right now is rebounding up 2.3 percent today uh, a little bit green so you see Bitcoin is still hanging at $43,000, not going too much up or down, it's kind of hanging at this level right now. Um, but there are some altcoins that are making moves, Terra Luna up 7% today. Uh, you can see the top if you click on this, Aave is doing 12%, well, as is Network, which raised $100 million, we talked about it yesterday, doing 10% another today, overall 60% over the week. <coughs> Helium is also doing great. Uniswap, they just uh, upgraded to the Polygon network. So yeah, it looks amazing overall. Looking at the Bitcoin price, we have one day and 10 hours to go before we close this week. So far, we're, we're looking good. Uh, green week overall, of course, it's, uh, it's great. But we are not seeing enough volume yet. And uh, we will ideally like to see a bullish engulfing candle closing in one day and 10 hours from now above $47,000. Until then, we still kind of need to see this price can cause us a little bit of resistance. Uh, it may last a couple days or even a couple weeks uh, in this area until we finally break it. But uh, I have no doubt in my mind that we are going to break this level sooner or later we need to look at the stochastic RSI on the weekly when this closes above 20 and uh, the blue line is going to go above the orange line uh, that's where essentially you're going to see a big a big spike and momentum uh, going into the bitcoin over the coming weeks so that's uh, what's happening with the price of bitcoin uh, we discuss a lot about it not much going on do not fall into the trap of this which is the death cross we already discussed that this is not a time to panic and sell this is the time to buy and accumulate uh, look at what uh, 55 at the top 100 of the world's biggest banks they all have invested in crypto and blockchain companies from Citibank to UBS Morgan Stanley all of them have invested significantly in uh, this way or another into crypto and blockchain companies uh, now uh, you can see fidelity fidelity is a 4.8 trillion dollar asset manager a couple days ago actually a week ago they published a report about what's been happening in 2021 and you can see that <coughs> right now 71 percent according to the recent survey of U.S. and European institutional investor intend to allocate to digital assets in the future. So it's been a big, big trend. Uh, 2020 it started with the institutions onboarding. Uh, Paul Tudor Jones publicly stated his admiration for the asset. Even Mass Mutual, one of the oldest insurers in the country allocated for Bitcoin. So this institutional investment adoption is, is still going full speed and they do expect 2022 uh, to be another great year for crypto. Now let's talk about metaverse and some of the hot metaverse projects that are going on right now. As you know, ever since Facebook rebranded itself to metaverse, um, of course there's a, there's a lot of people out there saying, go and buy some Facebook stock, right? And the, the company, uh, the parent company, Meta Platforms, right? FB, Facebook. But I think that even though there is a huge giant, a huge company, they, they're very resourceful. They're, of course, uh, they have a lot of capital to invest. Uh, it's not necessarily a, a, a small 
stock in a small um, company, right? Like <coughs> there are small, small, uh, co smaller competi uh, competitors, right, in the metaverse that uh, can do way, way bigger um, in terms of how much the value of the project appreciates, starting from very small. You know, if you take something from a hundred million dollars to ten billion dollars. Um, that's like a hundred X right there. But if you take something that is into multiple, multiple billions and take it to trillion, right? It's much, much harder to do, uh, to do those X's. So that's why we will explore some of the smaller project out there. Um, you can see that uh, there are pieces of land that already has been selling for as much as 2.4 million dollars. That's right, real estate and uh, providing some tremendous benefit from people that believe in the metaverse from the very early on and buying this land much, much cheaper and then reselling, flipping it <laughs> essentially in the metaverse and uh, reselling it in much, much higher um, prices. One of this project is like this, it's called the Wilder World, right? And uh, you can see, Right now, the price of Wild is up 8.65% at $2.7. It has 8.8 thousand holders. So it's very small in the market cap of $229 million. And you can see the cribs <coughs> that they're selling, the land guilds uh, cribs in the metaverse. So there's actually plots of land that you can uh, buy. This is the cribs. Uh, and uh, the first domain, the first city is called Miami. That's right, it sounds like Miami, right? And you can see the, the, the different cribs. There are 97 owners of this. Uh, and, and the units, right, is the different bids. Last sale, it's about $1,300, 500 of these wheeled tokens. And they're selling these different units um, in, the, in the metaverse, right? So there you go. You can, uh, it's all speculation, right? You do your own research. You can, uh, you know, buy those uh, properties of the land in the metaverse, or you can just buy the underlying asset, which is the wield token, because as the popularity of this may increase, it's one of these projects I'm researching, um, the value of wielder token, wielder world, uh, can, can jump up. Today it's up 10%. Market cap two hundred thirty-two million dollars and twenty-four hour trading volume, and you can buy it at Gate.io, for example, uh, with uh, with a pretty decent uh, trading volume right there. Okay, so yeah, that's uh, that's one bet. Another one, Illuvium. Illuvium, Illuvium has been around for quite some time. Uh, Here is what's exciting: is their land is coming soon, right? So we'll be able to buy. Uh, land inside the Illuvium. Uh, it's a really uh, amazing looking uh, game. If you watch the, the trailer, I'm not playing myself, um, but yeah, there's 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 market for it, and it looks very beautiful in this uh, metaverse, right? Um, Solis is uh, another one of these projects on metaverse, but on Solana. Solana has been very very uh, fast growing blockchain much faster growing than the Ethereum blockchain with $47 billion market cap. Uh, and um, this is the first cross-platform VR metaverse on the Solana blockchain. So yeah, you can also be able to hear, to buy some, you know, to play the game, to, to buy maybe land, uh, you know, and um, you can buy the underlying token, <coughs> which is Solis. By the way, it's up. 34.7% today. So really amazing, really amazing. Uh, you don't see the market cap here, so it's it's fairly new, right? It's fairly new, but yeah. Uh, from the all time low, it's uh, eight days ago, it's up 400%. It's a very small project, but uh, yeah, trading volume is pretty decent, $11 million. And you can buy it again on gate.io. Um, another one is router, uh, and this is, it doesn't have to do with metaverse, but it has to do with cross-chain. Uh, the ability, they are now launching the mainnet, uh, and the testnet looks like this. 
so you can go from a uh, uh, different chains to, to other different chains, right? It, it's just a testnet, but they have a lot of partners, so um, we'll see how that goes. Um, here is interesting piece of news. Tesla starts accepting Dogecoin crypto for some of its merchandise. That's right. You can go and buy some stuff uh, on Tesla website, on official Tesla website like this giga texas belt buckle for dogecoin if you go to their website and support at tesla.com you can see what can i buy from tesla with dogecoin look for the dogecoin symbol next to the order button for dogecoin eligible products and elon musk said that uh, they're going to start experimenting with um selling merchandise of tesla with dogecoin so we'll see how it goes of course uh, tesla uh, dogecoin <coughs> has positively reacted to uh, uh, to this type of news and Dogecoin is up. Let's see where is Dogecoin. Um, right there. Did I miss it? Where is Dogecoin? There you go. Um, 19 cents. Okay, so it's been up 22% this week. Uh, doing its thing. <laughs> Uh, so that's something you should be aware of. Um, Bitcoin miners show strong accumulation. Their inventory spike up. They, they don't show any signs of selling Bitcoin. They're just accumulating, accumulating, accumulating. Um, Matic is, again, one of those coins that has the most users, the most wallets. It's the layer two solution on Ethereum but way cheaper, way faster. And um, there are so many projects that are essentially moving into Polygon. And just like Ethereum has done EAP 1559, Polygon Matic is scheduled its long awaited EAP 1559 next week on January 18th, which in fact will start to reduce the supply and burn Polygon burn Matic <coughs> as the hard fork set to go live. Remember what happened to Ethereum when um, when it started burning? Ethereum went straight from it, it happened actually in August. You can see it on the chart um, how fast Ethereum started going up. It happened right here in August, somewhere in this area where uh, this went live, right? In the beginning of August, so Ethereum pr practically doubled in value <coughs> over a course of several months because of this hard fork. So we'll see what hell happened to um, a Polygon, but this is def definitely very good news for Matic, and the chart is looking very, very sexy uh, for Matic. You can see right here uh, that we are almost at all-time high. Uh, for Matic, we briefly fell into dollar ninety-seven, supported by this trend line, and uh, we jumped, and the support line came in, and we essentially transitioned higher, almost reaching to all-time high, which is can break any week now. Can break any week now. So there you go about Matic. The near token spikes after protocol raises one hundred fifty million dollars, led by Three Arrows Capital and uh, what they're raising for. We're looking forward to leveraging the funding to improve access to blockchain technology in ever-growing list of countries across the world, right? And uh, you can see how near protocol is doing. <coughs> there is a lot of investments, a lot of investment is happening in the crypto space. Yeah, <coughs> 19 and a half dollars, the market cap already 12 uh, billion dollars is doing really well, the near protocol. Um, another small coin I'm researching is called DFYN Network. This is still very, very, very small, uh, and uh, they are preparing their exchange, the DFYN that network exchange. Sounds familiar, like looks familiar, like like Uniswap, right? Um, very, very familiar to Unis like Uniswap, but it is cross chain, right? So you can you can convert from different tokens to other tokens uh, in this DFYN. The liquidity is 
still small you can see 50 million dollars but um, it's large enough for them to start operate uh, operating right so yeah it looks like a uniswap one one for one but look at the investors right a lot of investors um, in this in this token so dfyn the dfyn network <coughs> you can check it out on the coin gecko d f y n network it's number 999 right now 24 cents that's it and you can find it on the mar on the following market uh, gate.io uh, i think it's just listed literally like today <laughs> so there is another coin that you can buy on gate.io um dfyn so there you go <laughs> another one is pocket p o k t it's a web 3 infrastructure the right way decentralized it solves a huge problem as every single blockchain like ethereum solana harmony avalanche binance smart chain they all rely on a service provider to do those relays so what they're doing is they build billions literally of relays um, and thousands of independent full nodes available for all blockchain networks with 100 percent uptime so there is no surges <coughs> and that's why uh, you know this this pocket uh, can be used uh, for dApps the pocket network for going viral for anti-fragility for infinite games for easy interfacing with any chain and uh, you can see the uh, 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 the 24 hour trading volume is 16 million dollars it's up 12 percent today yeah pocket you can also buy at gate.io um, and energy of course energy is so cheap right now uh, you can buy energy for less than a third of a penny, at zero point zero zero two dollars, and uh, the Star Stake is being launched, which is the first NFT-based royalty marketplace that brings the world's greatest creations together with fans and consumers. And uh, as a as a fan, you can access your favorite stars and creators through NFT-based royalty marketplace and purchase the revolutionary iNFT to start receiving royalties, rewards, and collectibles. And as a start, you can tokenize your intellectual property and give your fans a new way to connect and earn from your creation. So this is all this, the uh, launching in uh, less than uh, two months. I don't know, maybe next month it already launches and is significantly going to increase the price of energy and energy white gold tokens because um, these tokens are what is supporting the actual royalty based marketplace so we're very very cheap right now 923 uh, holders that's it so yeah uh this this is the time this is the time uh to get involved is is right now and drip the drip community uh is growing every day uh is growing you can see the analytics uh, is amazing <coughs> about seven to eight hundred people a day on boarding uh, where people are staking DeFi. this is a DeFi protocol you see uh, 700 six about seven eight hundred people a day new new people that are joining people can stake drip and they can receive over 365 days payout of their drip in the stake they have a lot of things going on they just recently launched the manor farm uh, which is by the same developer with total value lock right now exceeding um, exceeding let's see on the farms uh, 70 uh, almost 70 million dollars total value lock so that is <coughs> absolutely amazing the revolution token is trending is uh, is 97 dollars right now people at pre-sale could get a limited quantity of revolution token for just seven dollars so 
think about that that's over 10x over the pre-sale price um, but yeah this is just the beginning for the manor farm it has the drip BUSD liquidity LP tokens preparing for the launch of L2 um, and they have uh, NFT game on Solana coming and NFT uh, NFTs uh, that you can only buy with drip with A-list celebrities there is a lot of things that are happening uh, in the near future and that's why uh, we can you know it, it is possible let's just put it this way it is possible for one drip to be worth over three thousand dollars um, by the end of 2022 with our current growth analytics and what is prepared and I believe in the vision and the developer and what they have going on it's really has a lot of reputation in the space so um, looking forward for the development of this it's still very early on and very small uh, project yet it was about 12 million dollar market cap so there you go uh, that's what I want to share with you today there is a lot of information to digest I know a lot of projects a lot of tokens what it can do is take a little bit you know um, you know especially you do your own research and you know you, you want to put something in metaverse do it with small portion maybe a couple hundred dollars maybe five hundred dollars I don't know but uh, start small uh, do not invest or or, or invest uh, into this uh, projects because it's very speculative right it can go significantly up but it can also not um, or something can happen right so those are very small altcoins uh, and project relatively it's not like a blue chip Bitcoin right uh, Bitcoin goes like this so these tokens also go much much wider in the fluctuation but um, profits to be made and riches to be made uh, in the metaverse in the NFT space in the DeFi space so um, definitely every day is a good day to get involved in crypto smash up the like leave a comment let me know what do you guys think and I'll see you in the next episode of today in crypto show